Alright. Saved. Let's see. Oh, hello. I know who you are as well. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. Yes! Here comes Napster Bloop. Mm. Oh, his creepy tears, his creepy ass tears. Ouch. Napster Bloop is pretending to sleep. I'm surprised that he can sleep when he's being slashed at or punched. I'm not quite sure what the kid has. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Tears, dodge the tears. Spooky staring into the distance. Oh, is it not a bit weird that one of the first guys is. Um, you know you can't kill ghosts, right? How do you know I'm not armed with a spirit level? We're sort of incorporeal and all. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. Sorry. I just made this more awkward. Pretend you read me. On, you lost one experience point. What's in here? Let's frog it. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G in the web. Yes. Spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. I'll do that again. Leave 7G in the web. Yes. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Leave 18 gold in the web. Yes. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a jug. And I'm out of money. Just checking if this recorded again. It sounds like I'm here all about this. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Comic food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Oh. Not you too. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I've heard you're quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Ring. Hello? I just realised that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up. But do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. How full is my inventory right now? Whoops. Stat weapon, stick, armor, bandage. Okay, good to know. Item, spider donut, spider cider. There's just one switch. Okay, well, I'm not walking on any of those things. Or maybe I have to. Right, let's go down this one. Oh, there's a patch of something down there. I think that's a um, that's a monster. Yeah, that's a monster. Vegetoid came out of the earth. It's a creepy smiling strawberry. It contains vitamin A. For ass kicking. That's so sock root from our boy. You have a mysterious smile. Farmed locally, very locally. Ouch. Vegetoid seemed kind of bruised. You won. 6 XP, 1 gold. You mean I don't get more? 
more. Oh. Another Vegetoid, Luke Straw, drew near. Well, you can go away. Please don't pick on me. Oh, avoid the bubbles, avoid the boobles. Oops, he's staring right through you. What an eyesore. Looks is watering. Watching anymore. You earn six, uh, <laughs> you earn seven XP, five gold. Nice. that down? Brilliant. Let's read what this says now. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation perspective. Well, those are all down. Interesting. If you can read this, press the blue switch and you can only see two colours. The blue switch is behind this pillar here. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. You're a clicking sound. Mysterious clicking sound. Snape, Snape, it's never a Snape. You can read this. Press the red switch. That looks red to me, unless that's really orange. Switch, press it. Yes. Your clicking sound. Nice. I think there's something hiding behind this pillar that you can talk to, or is it this one? It's a switch, press it. If you can read this, press the green switch. So there's the blue one. Well then. Ah, where am I? Ah, only back here. So it's not that one, it probably is that one behind that pillar then. Not that pillar, but this pillar in here. So switch, press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Get dark now. There's some brambles. It's over here. You found the toy knife. Let's equip that. Oops. You equip the toy knife. That is such a beautiful little cityscape. It's amazing. Here. That took longer than I thought it would. Yeah, it did kind of. Who are you calling? I'm right here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Ruins home. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a bite of scotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. What is my surprise? This is it. Room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. You've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Let's see what our room is like then. Oh. A wardrobe, an empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kid shoes in disparity of sizes. Interesting. Looks like, look at these cool toys, they don't inter interest you at all. Well, we can get into the bed. You found a slice of butter scotch cinnamon pie. What else is around here? Can't look at that flower, for some bizarre reason. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. 
room under renovations. I've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. It's you! It's a you! Guess this is Toriel's room? Toriel's diary, read the circle passage? Yes. We read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling burnly. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Definitely bigger than twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you open to the middle. Dipher, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Bigger than twin size bed. That's what I'm going to call that type of plant from now on. Peek inside. Scandalous! Story of sock drawer. Ah, cactus, truly the most sundare of plants. Just a regular old bucket of snails. No goats do eat anything. Oh, it's a water sausage. That's what I'm calling them from now on, thanks to this game. Water sausage, everything. There's Toriel. Just want to explore a little more. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2000 and X. These books are worn, they must have been read many times. That's a window, I'm guessing? Let's wander around a little bit more. Buy a place stuff? The ends of tools have been filed down to make them safe. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated far into, into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. I'm not about to put my hand inside a fire. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. The size of the pie intimidates you too much to, for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Ah, oh, gingerbread monsters would be awesome. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favourite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. I love her little glasses, they are adorable. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, when can I go home? What? This this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. How to exit the roads. I have to do something. Stay here. Down here, anyway, if I recall correctly. I wonder if we could just snuck at her without talking to her. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. One way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will never be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Nope. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Sorry, sister, not happening. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Can I actually do this? Can I actually kill her? This this will see if we go onto the neutral run straight away. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. 
Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Can I actually kill her? Toriel blocks the way. Uh, I'm gonna do this. No, I feel bad. I feel bad already. Oh man, and this song though. Toriel prepares a magical attack. side. Uh, you were stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an, ex an exit. Asgore. Do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? My child. Well then, I think we have to get to a save point. That, it, it, <laughs> yeah, proving what a great YouTuber I am, I can't even speak. It hurts a lot more when you're the one attacking it. Ha ha ha. I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. When it came down to it, he he he. She couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. Thanks for that, Flowey. You're making me feel all better. 100 tail. Wait, Toby Fox. Dun dun dun. Here we are. 
are out in the snow. Is there a safe point? Oh, this music is hurting my ears. Oh, I thought I made a noise. Oh. Something. Oh. Okay, that broke. Or was that the door locking behind me? Let's go back and look. Oh, nope. Was the stick smashing? There's clearly something invisible following us, which is a terrifying prospect. I'll have to use that voice for someone. Maybe Alphys. Alright. Oh, something's behind us. This is turning into amnesia, the dark descent, fairly quickly. Let's keep an eye out.